Welcome back to Celebrity Scandals with your hosts, Lily Douglas and Breezy Bunker. And today we're going to be talking about part two of the Zach Bryan and Brianna breakup. So basically, a week ago, we made a podcast talking about their breakup and like everything happening within it. And we mentioned the podcast that was made by Brianna, but we didn't really get into detail until I listened to it. Bum, bum, bum. And so they have a podcast called BFFs, and it portrays Dave Portnoy, Josh Richards, and Brianna Chicken Fry. And so they had it a while ago. Like, it started up a while ago, but they were going to end it until this whole deal went on. I've heard about this podcast multiple times. It's, like, actually a really popular podcast Mm -hmm. from what I've heard. I meant to listen to one, but I never got the chance to. Yeah, so uh, I heard from people it was very interesting. So I was to do it myself. And hearing everything that was going on is not at all what I heard online. Yeah, me neither. It was very in detail. And it was just talking about, like, Brianna started crying on it. Like, it was very, very oh detailed. Gosh. So basically in the podcast, they talked about how Zach Bryan – paid his exes like the same thing he was trying to do to brianna to keep their mouth closed obviously they took the money because we never heard anything about it until now but brianna did not take the money on the podcast she was talking about how she debated it for many days yeah rightfully so you should be able to talk rather than get paid off yeah because he knows what he's doing is wrong like he's trying to hide his whole like shindig so he can still be famous and everybody will still love him exactly which is so wrong but on the podcast brianna was talking and she was like i really wanted to take the money she was like if i had like one day to figure it out i probably would have taken the money but they gave me so many days that i could think there and just sit and sit and ponder and she was like the reason i didn't take the money and she was like because if i had the 12 million dollars that was what he offered her she would sit there in her million dollar house that they were going to plan together and just sit there and everything that she owned would be from his money that's a lot of money and that's hard to turn down but did the right thing by turning it down for sure if it was me i definitely don't know what i would have done if it was me i definitely would have taken the money yes most likely I think it all just depends how bad the situation was because like I said like she talked about like how she was mentally abused and some may say physical no one really knows but she did say in her podcast she was like there was one night where it was really really bad and I won't speak on it oh that's so sad yeah so basically in the podcast that like I didn't even know about until I listened she was talking about how everything was fine so she signed her and Zach Bryan decided to go on tour for a year. Like, she committed to Zach Bryan, was there for him every time, but left for about two weeks, I think, to go on her tour, which was really big. She was really excited. Obviously, Zach Bryan stayed there for his, but she went on for hers, and she was so excited, like, having about to have the tour of her life. And Zach Bryan texted her or called her, I think texted, and was like, I can't do this anymore. It's definitely one of the worst ways to break up with someone. Oh, yeah, because he knew she was about to, like, succeed and do great out there. And he just had to totally ruin it for her, trying to be like, oh, like, let me get your mind off of being successful and let me break up with you real quick. Yeah, and this honestly shows the type of person she is. She told everyone in her podcast, she said, at that moment, I put him aside and did it for my, like, audience and my fans, and I still went on tour. Woo! Um, Period, queen. And I'm like, how hard would that be when you just broke up, got broken up with by who you thought you loved so much and was the love of your life, who you're going to marry probably, and still have to go on tour and act like everything's fine? Yeah, heck no. I could never. It's just all so crazy. Um, and it's just crazy to like hear about it. And it's honestly so sad because she's just, she was so devastated. And I bet part of his mind was, like, what if she's more successful than me and can live, like, by her own and she'll leave me? Like, he's that toxic. He's crazy. Mm -hmm. And so also in the podcast that I think some people don't know about, after the tour, whenever they broke up, they got back together. Oh, yeah, girl. 
she needs to get away from him forever. Well, I'm sure she is now, but. Yeah, so after when he broke up with her the first time, he was like, I'm so sorry, like, for everything. Like, can we talk it out? And she's obviously said yes because she loved him so much. And then it never got better. And so that's when she was like, one night it was really bad, and she said she was like, I'm not going into detail. But then she ended it after that. And some may think, obviously, everyone's going to have their own opinions. I know what mine is, but it's just all so crazy. And he obviously did not treat her well that night. Yeah, these kinds of relationships are so sad because it's so hard for the girls to get out of it or the men, like both ways, but most of the time the women. And it's just really unfortunate because it's with money and with the public, it's just all around probably one of the hardest things. Yeah, it's all just so sad. And it's obviously like really hard for her because – you know, she could have taken the money, but she doesn't want to. Like, that was already a big debate for her. And I feel like this case, it just, like, carries on so much more trauma and heartbreak whenever both of them were famous. Yeah. Especially Zach Bryan recently blowing up. Like, this is during his prime, probably. Yeah. And I think a lot of it, though, he's, like, starting, obviously, like, how she's coming out and, like, she's explaining how she feels he's not getting away with all of it like oh I mean no. my someone I know was talking and out they were talking about his new song and the guy was like I mean no he's not a great person anymore uh-uh. he's awful yeah it's all just so crazy and y'all should definitely go listen to the podcast if y'all have any time but I hope y'all enjoyed have a good day bye